Stay at your level. Do not drop down to meet others. And make sure that you are trying not to. Make sure that you are not going into those energies yourself of neglecting others or causing them to feel invisible or, you know, things like that because you're trying to drop down to other people's levels. Do not allow the people around you, if you're somebody who speaks out every time somebody is feeling invisible, do not allow the people around you to keep you from saying something when you feel like somebody is not being heard, period. Bottom line, whether that's you or someone else. Be open-minded. Things may be different than you thought. Release the burdens of the world from your shoulders. There may be a lot of gossip going on, but you decide if you hear it or acknowledge it. Rise above it. Walk is better than talk. Show people you mean business. Let everything fall away and focus on you. Focus on moving forward. Focus on clearing out whatever you need to clear out and releasing whatever you need to release and stepping into your power and shining like the star that you are meant to be because you are not meant to be an invisible person in a broom closet somewhere. And once again, that breathing exercise to release the weight. A healthy lust for life and playfulness is what pushes us forward to face anything. Make amends where needed. Peace can be achieved. So, enjoy life. Just be able to enjoy life in the moment, too. You know, sometimes we get so focused on not wanting anybody to feel the pain and misery we've been through that, you know, sometimes we can forget to focus on just being happy. Just being happy. And once again, we were talking about apologizing earlier. So apparently there is a theme for apologies in this reading. Say sorry where you need to say sorry. Make amends where it's needed. Peace can be achieved, but not if you're going to hold on to your pride and your ego. It's only going to be achieved if you are able to release that. You overcome every challenge that comes your way. You have a hard time saying no and setting proper boundaries. So... You need to make sure that you are telling others no when you mean it. And you need to make sure that you are setting proper boundaries so that you don't have to get in a state where you feel like you're fighting to be seen or heard. You need to make sure that you are not running around doing everything for everyone else while they aren't doing anything for you in return. An equal exchange always feels better. You are somebody who has overcome every challenge that comes your way. You can overcome this one don't feel like you can't. Taking action to express ideas, knowing what you want and going after it, playful, sassy, flirty, abundance from new thoughts and ideas. Grounding your foundation, standing your ground with solid stability and ease, magically transforming your foundation, being controlled or refusing to be controlled, withholding info. So, do not allow yourself to be controlled, but do not try to control anyone else either. And when you don't set your healthy, proper boundaries, you go into a lower vibration as well, and you end up doing things too. That's another thing that helps you to be able to forgive the other people too, is that it's always two. There's always something on both sides going on. Overcoming fears, seeing something worth courage, cycles coming to a close, new life after death, expressing yourself regardless of what others think, new growth, proper boundaries, leaving anxiety behind and releasing fears and anxieties. So it's time now to let go of any of the fear that has held you back from being your true authentic self and to really step up into that power and shine your light for the world to see and know that it is worth seeing because you are somebody who has been through a lot and you have a lot to offer this world. Choosing what to accept, opening up to the possibilities, wishes, wish granted through hard work for emotional stability, cutting out the mental chatter in favor of intuition, grounding, grounded, bleh, grounded, strong, stable foundation. So it's time to really pull your emotions to a stable place and to choose to pull your emotions to this stable place, to choose to take care of your emotions, to choose to love yourself, to choose to make sure 
that you are listening to your intuition, not your fears and anxieties, and to allow yourself to really heal the pain that is keeping you from seeing the many numerous options you have in front of you for to take action, to express your ideas, to make changes. Love and commitment, new beginnings, divine, great creativity, personal growth, making offers, solid, stable, grounded, committed, seeing the future, personal growth. You want to, oh, seeing the future you want to create and knowing how. Abundant blessings, focused on, focused on what you want, knowing how to get it. Speaking your truth, honorable intentions. So making sure that in what you're doing, you are going about it with pure intentions, committing to having this, these pure intentions, committing to yourself, committing to emotional healing and overcoming your fears and anxieties, and committing to taking action to express what you truly want, to commit to whatever it is you feel like you are being drawn to commit to. If it is a relationship and, you know, in the past you've been very invisible, some of that is your fault because you did not set the proper boundaries. You did not show others how to treat you by treating yourself with respect and love. And treating other people with respect and love is half of it. And you probably treat them with immense respect and love because of the lack of it that you've received in your life. But what you need to do now is show yourself that respect and love so that other people know how to respect and love you. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear your feedback in the comments below or to hear what you are going been going through. I would also love to hear it if you have a suggestion for a future video as well. And I am doing personal readings now as well. You can message me at earthangel1133 at yahoo.com if you're interested. And I really hope that you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are, when you're watching. Bye-bye. On to pile three. So for pile three, Hunter, release the energy and cleanse. Physical abuse, power was taken with Physical abuse, power was taken with strength, feelings of weakness, and a need for control. So you might be somebody who is really trying to control a situation because authoritarian methods were used in the past to control you. So you feel like you need to control other people in that way as well. And it is time now to release this need to... be in control this need to feel strong by taking the powers of others and it may even be people in the past have taken your power and that's why you are doing this and you may not be doing this as well you may not be you know but if you are if you are having issues where you feel like physical violence is the answer to the problems because you feel like you need to take control of the situation and it's out of control unless you are taking action in this manner then it is time to release that energy cleanse and clear yourself of your past hurt and pain that you went through from other people taking your power away do not become the monster who hurt you and I am not judging anything either you know, because we all have stepped into our negative lower vibrations at some point or another because of the hurt we've gone through. Hurt people generally tend to hurt people. The sin, crime, and shame is no longer yours to hold. Place the blame where it belongs. Accept, let go, forgive. You did nothing wrong. And the reason that we let go, we forgive, and we realize that we didn't do anything wrong is because we do not want to jump into this energy ourselves. There may have been somebody that was really just very, 
You know, there may have been somebody who really hurt animals around you. And, you know, they may have even in some way made it sound like it was your fault. Whether it be they were hurting you or they were hurting animals, they may have made you feel like it was your fault. You may have felt like it was your fault, even if, you know, they didn't actually say that. Because, you know, who wouldn't, who wouldn't, you know? Especially the way that most people think about corporal punishment. You're doing something wrong, you should feel guilty and ashamed of, and I'm going to beat it out of you, you know? And that is just not the way to go. Not in my eyes. That's not the way to go. And I will never accept or believe that, period. Sitting down and having a conversation with respect between two people is the way you should go with your children. Because that's what they will learn to do in the world, is to sit down and respect people. Not to disrespect them by taking their power. People who took your power blamed you. But you don't have to accept that distorted reality. People who abuse always blame the survivor to shift the focus. Of course they do. Who wants somebody looking at them? They don't want anybody looking at them, so they're of course going to make up random stories about you and what you did that was so horrible to cause them to feel the need to put their hands on you. That's not your blame to hold. I don't mean to get so angry in this one, but you know what? I am somebody who has to step in when it comes to something like that I cannot turn away I am somebody who feels very 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 passionately about it and there has been a few times in my life where I have turned away because you know I didn't necessarily feel safe saying something or doing something it is okay to not feel safe too but you have power you have power know that Turn your wounds into wisdom. The strength lies within. Look at everything that you have been through. Take pride in your ability to survive and thrive. You have amazing wis wisdom, I am sure, to hand out to other people, to give to other people. And it comes from everything that you have been through. So even though there is a lot of anger here for everything that you have been through and all the pain and hurt and misery that you have been through and not only that that you have projected onto others because of what you have been through all of it all of it is something that you have overcome you have worked through it has given you strength wisdom knowledge understanding new perspectives it has given you the ability to be one of the people who changes this world who takes action to right the wrongs who doesn't stand back and look away, but somebody who is able to release the idea that that is the way things should be done and is able to step into the way they truly believe that things should be done. Be proud of yourself for your ability to come out of this as an amazing person who can teach others and who could pull your power back. Sexual abuse. Sexual abuse, rape, molestation, using or making threats, force, or taking advantage of an inability to consent. And you may at times have a really hard time feeling like it isn't your fault in some way, somehow, you brought on the actions of others. The actions of others to take someone's power, to make them feel weak and vulnerable, to scare them, hurt them, scar them. You didn't in some way cause this. No one causes anyone to hurt them in that way. The way people behave is their blame alone. There is nothing you could change or do differently that would cause them to want to hurt you. Or cause them to not want to hurt you, for that matter. You could be somebody who wears layers and layers of clothes
but a hunter knows their prey. Somebody who's invisible, somebody who hides themselves, somebody who has been beaten down into this state of feeling like they shouldn't be seen will not be able to be protected because they're trying not to draw attention to themselves. And when a hunter's looking for prey, he's looking for somebody that, are they gonna go get the loud one that's gonna tell anybody and everybody? Probably not. A lot of times they're gonna go after the quiet one that's off alone, that's wearing all those clothes and isn't going to tell anybody what happened because they're very ashamed of it, you know? Of course, that doesn't mean it doesn't happen to people who are half naked. Of course that does. Of course it does. But it happens to everybody. It isn't just a certain person or a certain type who gets abused. It isn't anything that we can change about ourselves that's wrong with us, that causes others to want to hurt us. You are amazing, and there is nothing to hate about yourself, and there is nothing to feel guilt or shame over in the power others abused over you. To have a friend, one must be a friend, like attracts like. Falling down hurts, each wound heals with time, but you got to get back up first. Do it yourself too, all those other reasons count, but make sure that it's for you at the core. Sickness can affect us in many ways. Remember self-care now. When I look into your eyes, I never see any lies. When I look into your eyes, I never see any lies. When I speak, I see your face, and then my heart begins to race. I wrote a poem at one point in time that had that same line in it that I forgot about till just now. Everything is going to be okay. Calm your thoughts and find peace within. So you might be feeling like you just have no power. Like there's this big blank numb spot within you like, you know, you aren't sure if you want to be seen. But find your peace and calm your thoughts and know that everything will be okay. There may be somebody in your life that is triggering a lot of this right now. Remember how you feel when you look in their eyes. Remember how you feel when you're in their presence. You got to get back up though, and you got to be able to be a friend, to have a friend as well too. You know, you got to be able to let go of the hurt and the pain in the past to be able to connect to people. You can't connect to people if you're holding yourself back so much because of the hurt and pain you've gone through. Taking care of yourself, getting the proper sleep, getting the proper food, making sure that you're not staying in situations that take your power like that, making sure that you are respecting yourself and loving yourself and caring for yourself, nurturing yourself is very important right now. And don't do it for anybody else. Do it for yourself. Do it for you. And yes, you can hold on to the idea of other things in your life and other reasons why you're doing it. As many reasons as you can have. Because all the more reasons, all the, all the bigger and better you do, you know. But make sure that you're doing it for yourself. Opening my eyes to the truth of situations around me. You never stop believing and in inspiration to all around you. You are starting to really truly see what has been going on because of the way you have been treated in your life. And you're starting to see where at times you may have treated other people in not such a good way because of the past trust issues and hurt. But don't stop believing in yourself. Never. And know that you are an inspiration to everyone around you because of the fact that you never stop 
believing in yourself. And maybe you opened the eyes of a lot of people around you to the truth, even if some didn't believe you. Five of Wands, Four of Swords, Seven of Wands, Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles. I'm sorry, I think this went into a third part. <laughs> so anyway, sassy, competitive, fighting for what you want thoughts-wise, seeing things from a different perspective, changing your understanding and thinking, seeing what is worth fighting for, coming out of confusion, understanding conflict or confusion, taking the time to enjoy life, meditating on the future, getting good rest and and reflecting on the past work like magic to show that you to show your path inner growth learning taking a break resting reflection time to enjoy life <laughs> apparently I wrote that on there a couple times setting boundaries honestly and freely committed to the truth fighting for what you want thoughts wise activism protection fighter leaving behind shame and guilt or sadness Gaining emotional mastery, leaving behind any confusion, fighting for what you believe in. So there's a need to fight for what you believe in and stand up and be strong and set your boundaries in a healthy way, but also be able to enjoy life, remove the trust issues, and understand that some of the conflicts and confusion going on in your life have been because you have been fighting instead of you've been fighting yourself in a lot of ways. And you just need to be able to accept yourself and love yourself and not worry what anybody else is thinking. Balanced, balanced through teamwork and partnership. Balanced thoughts. Good at man multitasking. Actions to create balance. Shared stability. Learning priorities through your life cycles. Sweet. Free. Reconciliation. Joy equally shared. Deeply rooted emotional connections. Childlike love with childlike love without the scars from the past unconditional love high vibrations through shared joy you can see you can scale any mountain through shared joy equal emotional give and take reconciliation past life relationships soulmate so there may be a past conflict or fight that may be getting a reconciliation of some sort you know, after a time away to think, rest, reflect, care, things like that. There's a lot in your childhood that has really caused a lot of conflicts in your life. And, you know, you have really been able to find a place of balanced thoughts, balanced ideas, and you have been able to come into a place where you are able to protect and fight for others who have been through what you have been through. And if it wasn't for everything that you have gone through, you would not be the person you are today who is here to fight for this and to stand up for what's right and what's true and what's real. Don't be ashamed of your past. Love your past. Because if it wasn't for your past, you would not be you. And you are amazing exactly as you are. Know that, trust that, feel that, believe that, tell yourself that till you do believe that. And get out there and make some noise being the person that you were meant to be. The person who had to go through so much pain and misery to 